the Planet Zoo Update 1.9 has added the capability for us to create our own hot springs, which the capybara and the Japanese macaques will actively use to bathe in. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own hot spring and get it working correctly. If you're not sure or you've not heard of hot springs before, hot springs are naturally occurring phenomenons where a pool of water is heated through geothermically heated groundwater. Hot springs are found all over the world and can vary greatly depending on where they originate and what chemical reactions are going on under the ground. So plenty of opportunity to explore with shapes, sizes and colorations with the ones we can create in game. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create these by building one for the capybara. To make your own hot spring, it isn't actually all that difficult. The key thing here, you need to ensure that there's a shallow pool section in your spring if you want it to be functional for your capybaras and macaques to bathe in. It just so happens there's a new tool being added to the game in the 1.9 update to allow you to do this. So to create the pool itself, you need to select the new flattened terrain tool in the terrain tab, then make sure that the shallow pool offset is ticked and then you're good to go. So using this tool, let's fill in this space with a natural pool. So as you can see, using the terrace tool with the shallow pool offset ticked, creates this little shallow indent in the ground and the way the tool works, that's set to the exact minimum depth needed for adding water. Any less than this and it would say it's not deep enough for water. So this is now the basis of our hot spring. Before I add the water, to make this look a little bit more like a natural hot spring, I'm going to add a little depth here. So going back to the traditional way of making pools in the game, using the push terrain tool, just to add a little variance in the water depth within the pool itself. Right, I'm happy with this, so I think we're ready to add the water. So here goes. Perfect. With the water in, there's a couple of other things we need to do to get this looking a little more realistic. So I'm setting this up for the capybara, and capybaras are found in South America, so essentially this is going to be a South American hot spring. To get this looking a little more realistic, I'm going to customize the water to look and feel more like a hot spring. To do this, I need to select the water and in the customized tab, I can change the water color, transparency and add bubbles and mist to give the effect of water evaporating. So I'm going to have a bit of a fiddle around with the colorations and I'll cut back when that's done. So this is the result. Now, something else we need to customise. If I select the water again, you'll see here that the temperature is 26 degrees. Real bodies of water aren't recognised as hot springs until they reach about 35 to 40 degrees. So we need to heat this water up to the temperature. To do that, we need to place a water temperature regulator and you can find those in the facilities tab. So under utilities, we have cooling and heating regulators and I want the heating one. And we'll place this down around the back of the enclosure, out of sight. There we go. Great. With the regulator down, I need to click into it so I can go to the options up here and change the water temperature. So let's just whack that up a bit. We also need to check the range of the regulator to ensure it's connected to the water here. So with the regulator selected, go down to the heat maps tab and here it will show me if the hot spring is connected to the temperature regulator. It's just about covering everything here. You can change the range of the regulators. So if you had other water nearby that you didn't want to be heated, then you could reduce this down so it's a little smaller. This is the maximum size it'll go to. So it just about covers everything. So I'm happy with that. Right, so with the water temperature sorted, it's time to go back to the spring itself. It's still not looking quite right. It needs a bit of landscaping here or there, and we need to add some foliage and rocks to suit the habitat. So I'll get on with that and skip back when it's done. There we go, looking much better. A lot more like a hot spring now. I've also added the capybara, so you can see how this actually gets used. So that's how you build a hot spring. I hope this has been helpful and has given you some inspiration for how you can create your own. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.